Jaguar additive systems are completely controlled through the Saver screen. To access the settings menu, we first enter the machine menu. In the machine menu, we then select the sub menu for the inciting agent system. This then takes us into all the settings for both the onboard additive system and the actualizer system. The first setting we can then see is the source that we want to use on the machine. If we select no source, this can use an external additive system that can be connected in to a plug in the maintenance area of the machine. Whenever we select silage additive tank, it uses the onboard 375 litre tank. If we select actualizer, it will use our actualizer 37 tank. And finally, we can then select our inside an agent tank and our actualizer tank to be used at the one time. When we select our silage additive tank, we can then select our dosing procedure, be it constant, dependent on throughput, or material dependent. In constant mode for both the silage additive tank and the actualizer tank, we can then adjust our dosing rate for our additive tank of 30 litres a minute up to 400 litres a minute. For the actualizer tank in constant dosing mode, we can then select between 200 millilitres an hour up to 20,000 millilitres an hour. When we select depending on throughput, that will then change the onboard additive tank to a dosing rate of between 500 millilitres a tonne up to 2000 millilitres a tonne. For the actualizer tank, that will then give us a dosing rate of 10 millilitres a tonne up to a maximum of 50 millilitres per tonne. When using the dependent on throughput mode, we have to have the quantimeter option fitted to the machine. The final dosing procedure is then our material dependent dosing procedure. This will have to be used in conjunction with the optional dry matter sensor and NIR sensor, depending on which one is fitted to the machine. At this point, if we select the source as a silage additive tank only, we can see our display has a bar graph with a percentage for the dry matter that we want to activate at, and then we can set in our points for our minimum, our reference and our maximum dry matters how much we'd like to applicate at those dry matters and when we'd like to switch the system on and off. If we move to the top and then select the actualizer system, we can see further down our concentrated additive system has now become active. Again, we have the same bar graph with the same measurements that we can input. Finally, whenever we change our source to inside an agent tank and actualizer tank, we can then run both systems in conjunction with each other. We can set our min, max and reference for both systems and select at what point we'd like the systems to overlap. Finally, at the bottom of this menu, we can also get information such as our onboard additive tank level or our actualizer tank level and as well as that, we can see in here the temperature of our concentrated actualizer tank as well. Moving back to the main display again, we can see on the silhouette of the machine, we can make quick adjustments to both our actualizer tank, if we need to adjust our rate, and we can also make adjustments to our onboard additive system as well, if we need to adjust the rate. Finally, in the secondary display area, we can see that we have an information overview of our length of cut, our dry matter, and when both systems are active and applicating, we will get the flow rate of how much additive is being applied. 